Khadija Toyib, can you go get me those broad beans? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So it's March, things are looking up, and it's that time of year when people have been really waiting patiently to get the seeds planted. I mean, I've been planting seeds since January, February, and I'm going to carry on planting way into this month. And there's so much you can plant right now. So the way I'm going to do this video is I'm going to show you those seeds that are perfectly safe to plant outside in this month. For some of them, you might have to wait a couple of weeks more and let the ground warm up a little bit more. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to give, show you those plants that you need to plant under cover under some kind of protection. And the last part of the video is going to show you those plants that you still need to keep quite protected. So you're going to need some warmth. So best to plant those in the house. Thank you very much. Jazakallah khair. Thank you very much. So these are broad beans that I sowed in January. And they're coming up really nicely now. They're getting quite big. There's quite a few more. So I'm going to plant these out. And while I'm planting these out, I'm going to show you some of the other things that you can be doing. Broad beans are a brilliant one now that you can actually... Oh, look at the root ball on that. So they're a brilliant one now that you can actually plant straight out into the ground. So if you wanted to and you didn't have seeds started like this, what you could do is you could actually just plant a few broad beans direct into the ground without any issue at all. So they are really hardy and planting them out and or even if you're planting seeds direct into the ground is not a problem at all. So these are ones that you can just plant into the ground, get them planted in and these will grow up and give you a nice harvest. These are broad bean wick kind that I'm planting and I overwintered these and they do fine. Most broad bean varieties are perfectly fine to overwinter under glass. Uh, I mean, things like aqua dulce you can plant out and keep them out all winter. But now these are fine to get out and they're not going to have an issue out here. So we're going to carry on planting these and I'll show you some of the other things that you can keep planting this month. So these are carrots that I've left overwintered. And I always grow them in my old wheelbarrow. And they really do well up in here. And I don't have to worry about things like protecting them. I'm going to carry on harvesting the last lot of carrots. But carrots are an absolutely brilliant one to harvest this month. I've done videos of how I've created the soil on this, in this wheelbarrow. And how I've amended it and got it ready for, to plant my carrots in. They do, like I said, they do quite well in this wheelbarrow. It's a nice little bed that I don't have to keep them protected in. So that's my next job to get carrots planted this month. I'll show you what I'm planting next. So all I'm gonna do next to my broad beans is I'm gonna make a, a drill. And this is how I always do my seeds when I plant outside, is I line it with a bit of fresh compost. And the good thing about this is it helps me see where I've planted and where I haven't. Instead of blanket mulching it, I mean, this is a brilliant way of conserving compost as well. And what I'm going to plant into here are radishes. And these are radishes Saxa. So they're a small globe radish and they'll, they're fast maturing. So within about six weeks, I should have a, have a crop from here without any issue at all. So I'll get these in right now. So now I've got my radishes seeds down. Another bit of compost over the top. If it doesn't rain within the next couple of hours, I'll give it a can of water and help them get settled in. So these gutters come in really handy. Top tip, when you do pull a gutter out that you haven't used for a while, do give it a check for any slugs and snails. So let's go and get these planted. So these are the peas that I planted in February. So February 1st I planted these peas and now they're coming up. In about a week or two's time I reckon they'll be fine to go straight into the ground. So that's what we'll do with them. So my potatoes finally arrived and what I've done with them is I've just laid them out in this flat box uh, and I've given some of the big ones I've cut them in half so I can double the number of seed potatoes that I've got. So this month is a perfect month to get your early potatoes planted. So if you're going to plant them in buckets, I'll do a special video just on planting potatoes in buckets. Keep an eye out for that. Or you can have a look at some of the ones that I did last year. 
but we'll move on to our next one. Throughout December, January, February, I've been sowing onions non-stop. Every month, every few, every month I've been doing a sowing. So this month I'd be saying it's coming towards the end of your onion sowing from seeds. If you're going to plant onion seeds, then this is probably the last month that you're going to sow onions for full mature bulbs. As the season gets shorter, the onions aren't going to fully mature and you're only going to get a smaller harvest. So what I'd do now is I'd get your last sowings of onion seeds in. If you miss the onion seed sowing, then get some onion sets and plant those directly into the ground and that'll give you a head start. When they produce the sets, what they've done is they've already given you a head start on your growing season. March, April is a perfect time to get your onion sets planted outside. Now let's go inside to the greenhouse. So these are some of the lettuces that are planted in February and I'm going to plant these out into the ground this month. But this is a great time. Whenever you're planting lettuces, always plant some every couple of weeks and keep so having that successional sowing. You don't want a massive glut of lettuces. You're not going to eat loads in one go. So keep sowing lettuces over and over again and do that every single month. It's also a great time to start sowing your brassicas. Now, I'm going to start sowing some fast maturing cabbages like Greyhound and that will mature quite quickly. And later on in the year, I'll sow my winter cabbages um, and my savoys. So this is the month for you to get most of your brassicas going. And in an unheated greenhouse, get some seed compost, plant your cabbages, your cauliflowers, and they'll come up in no time at all now. The days are getting longer, it's getting warmer. The greenhouse, the soil in the greenhouse is going to be at perfect temperature to get them going. And then you're going to be able to have cabbages and brassicas and all your other little bits all the way year through. So if you wanted to, right now, in the, you could sow your cucumbers in the house. But towards the middle of the month, you can, in an unheated greenhouse, cucumbers are absolutely fine to grow outside. So that's another one off your list. Get your cucumbers planted. And towards the end of this month, early next month, that's when we're going to sow most of our cucumbers. So there's the view from our attic. Absolutely beautiful sunset. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? That's the view that we get from our garden every night. And I'm looking forward to the summer days when we can sit outside uh, have a little barbecue and look at that sunset so I can't wait for that time but anyway let's get back to these seeds so now's the time to start getting your delicate plants planted like things like tomatoes aubergines and chilies I started sowing my tomatoes in February and I grew them under grow lights and I've had them on a sunny window in front of a sunny windowsill for a good while I potted them up and these are my tomatoes and Every time uh, they start leaning, leaning towards the sun, I just come and turn them around and lean the other way. But that's fine for homegrown tomatoes. These are ones that you can grow uh, as earlies. Uh, I mean, these are a variety. So I've got, uh, these are from a, a shop tomato. These are from, um, these are tomato outdoor girl. I mean, I damaged them by dropping them. So I'm just trying to fix them. Uh, we've got Gigantimo over here. We've got honeybee over here. We've got uh, brandywine crush pink, um, crimson crush. So quite a few different varieties of tomatoes. We'll, we'll get them growing up and we'll start potting them up. But if you haven't sown your tomatoes yet, now's a great time to sow your tomatoes. Same thing with the aubergines as well. So if you get them planted soon, then by the time they germinate and they grow into small plants, that will be into the second week to the third week of March, by which time, hopefully, you should be able to move them into an unheated greenhouse outside. And then if it does frost or anything like that, if you've got any signs of frost, then cover them with a fleece and you should be able to protect them. And that's what I'm planning to do with these. I'll keep these into my house for about for a good, uh, for about another three or four weeks and then they'll be outside in my unheated greenhouses. Now with chilies, for me, if you've got the equipment, then you should be planting chilies in January, February time. But if you haven't, now's a great time to get them started because the soil's starting to warm up. They'll start off really easily in the house now. To be honest with you, my Naga Viper didn't germinate. So this morning I actually sold some Naga Viper and Ian has just sent me some um, spaghetti chilies and I'll be sowing those with the kids this week, inshallah. So there's some plants to get started. 
but the ones that you've all been waiting for uh, and especially if you like something a bit more exotic come on let's go let's get downstairs and let's get starting them come on let's go downstairs so i'm going to do a bit of tinkering with these ones while i'm at it so now's the moment that a lot of people have been waiting for and for a, a lot of other people it'll be a lot of new crops now what i've got in my hand now these are bitter gourds. Uh, it's a bit of an acquired taste. I did really good, well with them last year. Um, so bitter gourds need a lot of heat, but they also need a really long growing season. This is one that I'm going to get started this month, along with the ones that I've got down here. And I'll show you these. So now, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Here we go. So it's time to start bottle gourds. And what I've done here is I've started to sprout some of my bottle gourd seeds in the in just some damp tissue now i've got some bottle gourds these these are all bottle gourds and these dark ones in the middle these are, are called snake gourds now these are a real staple edible for us and we this is one that we really love growing so i'm looking forward for these to germinate march is a really good month to get your bottle gourds sold because now the weather's starting to warm up as these plants start putting out their leaves, you're going to be able to just keep them on a warm windowsill and with plenty of compost and they'll grow and they'll be perfect and they'll do just fine. So just get these started soon. I've done a lot of detailed videos uh, on germinating bottle gourd seeds, potting them up, getting them all the way up to fruiting. So go and have a look at those videos and they'll, t they'll, g they'll give you loads of information on all about bottle gourds. And another one that I'm going to add on my list. So these are Lab Lab beans. And these aren't like um, normal runner beans or French climbing beans. Because they need even more heat than our normal runner beans and our French climbing beans. These need a longer growing season. So we get them started now. And towards the, towards the end of uh, March, a early April, these will move out into the greenhouse and then we'll get them planted out into the garden towards the end of April. But they'll be about eight foot tall by the time we plant these out. Now, if you fancy something different, you could try some passion fruits. Now, I've got some passion fruit seeds just somewhere over in this container somewhere. So I'll get these passion fruits out and we'll get these passion fruits sowed as well this month. They will grow in this country. Surprisingly, they'll grow, grow in this country. I mean, people grow passion flower and they often fruit, but I've got the edible variety, the one that's grown to be for its fruit. Um, and the last one that I'm going to add to my list of what to grow in March is ginger. Ginger is a, it's a perfect time to grow ginger right now. If you go into some of the Asian shops, what you'll find is ginger that's about to bud and you can pick up some really nice pieces. For a few pounds, you can come home with a nice chunky piece and you'll end up with six or seven plants. I've done specialist videos on how to grow ginger for, from one piece of ginger to grow multiple plants. Lots of people have had lots of success, so go and watch them, they're really good. That's a nice list of what to grow in March. Leave me a comment and tell me what you're growing this month and see how we're, and we can compare notes. So I'll leave it there for this one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.